Scientists build a bigger, better, stronger car battery. I, for one, welcome our new Cyborg Snail Overlords. And more on this week's Green Tech Weekly! This is show number 27. Let's look at all the green tech from around the web. This first story is something I want right now. Envia Systems has come up with a way to double the capacity of an electric car battery and cut the cost in half. They're bragging that they can get 300 miles to a charge. Well, I would so buy an electric with that kind of range. They do this with a new process that creates a battery with an energy density of 400 watt hours per kilogram. A lithium cell used in today's cars only gets a 100 to 150 watt hours. For comparison, a well-known battery like the Nissan Leafs costs around $375 per kilowatt hour. The new Envia system will only cost about 125 bucks. They want to have this battery out by 2015 and they hope to have all the issues resolved by then. My plan is to hound them enough to get it installed in my car. You know, for testing purposes. Right. This next story would benefit from a better, cheaper battery and look good while doing it. When it comes to sports of any kind, racing is not at the top of the list when you think of environmentally friendly venues. And Formula One racing is the worst. Audi wants to change this with its new R18 Le Mans Hybrid Formula One race car. The car itself is called the e-tron Quattro. One axle is powered by an electric motor and the other with a regular high powered engine. Is it still called Formula One if it's half electric or would it be a Formula Half? I don't know. Look for the car to debut at the Le Mans 24 hour on June 16th. Penn State wants to use poo to make cheaper electrodialysis, in turn making cheaper energy. The concept can make 0.9 kilowatt hours of electricity per kilogram of organic waste. The device combines microbial fuel cells with a reverse electrodialysis system. This will separate the ions in a series of membranes. The membranes by themselves only make a weak current, but by adding the other system, it gives them both a boost. The added bonus is the microbial fuel cells acts as a final cleaning stage for the water. They are trying to fine tune the system and hope to set it up in third world countries to both clean water and get cheap, usable energy. Another thing that could help those third world countries is a good roof. That's where this hand crank roof thatch machine comes in. It uses the common plastic 3 liter bottle as a base material. Cranking the bottle through the machine makes strips of plastic that when placed in a thatch pattern make a long lasting roof. We all know how long that stuff lasts at a landfill. Meaning less re-roofing. The first concern though is the safety and toxicity of the roof made from old soda bottles. The other issue is that it would need an average of 1600 bottles to make an average roof. But if it works, that's 1600 bottles not in the landfill or being recycled. I just did the math and that's a lot of cranking to make a roof. Yeah. Speaking of the future, I for one welcome our new cyborg snail overlords. And if it gets to the point of the matrix world, I'd like to be famous please. What are you talking about? The smart people at Colloid Science at Clarkson University implanted a biofuel cell in a snail and were able to get enough electricity to power various bioelectronic devices. The snails produce 7.45 microwatts at first and draws by 80% after only 45 minutes, making the usable microwattage about 0.16 of the continuous power throughout the snail's normal six month lifespan. And plotting its world domination the whole time, I'm sure. The group wants more power, so next they'll be moving up to a lobster. In the next few weeks, we're going to expand the show with a new segment every now and then at first, and it's called Rethink a Green. The first story will be my new house and how I plan to make it more efficient. And it doesn't mean with a cock gun around the windows and some CFL bulbs. Well, those two, but I will be installing a home automation system and eventually a home energy monitoring system. Also look for behind the scenes shows on Scott's channel. All of this can be found at our site greentechweekly.tv. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the show because it'll really help us out. And hit the like button too. Follow us all the usual ways to see when new stuff comes out. And as always, remember to rethink a green. Rethink a green. Rethink green. Say, I'm gonna get you cans. I'm gonna get you cans. Sir, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. 
Dang it. 